everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have developed a new compound that can turn infrared light into visible light. Researchers at the Philipp University of Marburg in Germany have developed a compound of tin and sulfur with a diamond-like structure that absorbs near-infrared light and emits visible light. The compound's complex structure alters the wavelength of the light as it passes through, rendering it visible to the unaided human eye. The light emitted by the compound is similar to that of a standard tungsten light bulb. The materials used to create the compound are inexpensive and readily available. Possible applications include directed illumination technologies, and the paper on this new compound is published in the journal Science. Next up, a new drug could provide a bridge for leukemia patients from chemotherapy to a cure. Researchers at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center have completed a phase 3 study of the drug enotuzumab ozogamicin. They found that relapsed acute lymphoblastic leukemia patients who received the drug were more likely to qualify for stem cell transplants than patients who did not receive the drug. The study found that 41% of those who received enotuzumab ozogamicin qualified for the transplants compared to just 11% of those who did not receive the drug. Stem cell transplants can cure acute lymphoblastic leukemia, also known as ALL, but in order to qualify, a patient must be in complete remission. Enotuzumab ozogamicin works by targeting a protein found in 90% of ALL cells. The study found that patients who received the drug had a remission rate of 81% and higher overall survival rates compared to standard therapies. The study is published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And finally, researchers in Vienna are developing what could turn out to be the first effective vaccine against toxic shock syndrome. The vaccine is being developed at the Medical University of Vienna's Department of Clinical Pharmacology and has been found safe and effective in a phase one trial. Toxic shock syndrome is caused by Staphylococcus bacteria and affects people with weakened immune systems, those recovering from surgery or viral infections, and women who are menstruating, who account for about half of all diagnosed cases. Though the study found the vaccine to be safe and effective, there is still more work to be done before it can be approved for clinical use. A phase two study is now underway. In the meantime, the results of the phase one study are published in the Lancet Infectious Diseases. A new compound turns infrared light visible, a drug can help prepare leukemia patients for a curative treatment, and the first vaccine against toxic shock syndrome is being developed. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. <gasps>